Hey, what's going on guys? Squid Gamer Man back with another Greenville video. So I know I'm a few days late, um, but on the 4th, I believe October 4th, Greenville had an update where they added six new cars, um, <laughs> just like last update. And um, there's a few other things they added. They added cruise control to each car. So I'll show you guys all the minor stuff too that they added, or most of it at least. Um, anyways, so... Uh, there's a really bad new bug in this game. Um, if you guys ever experience it, don't worry. It's not your keyboard. It's not your device. It's not your internet or, or all that. I bet, I bet, um, the Greenville developers will fix this sooner or later. But, um, for some reason, you can't use the arrow keys to turn your character. You could only go forward and backwards and just use A and D to, to turn it. Um, but it doesn't turn the camera around, too. Um, but, uh, just to let, let you guys know. But anyways, these are the six new cars that was added in this update. So they added a 1998 Ford F-150, a 2013 Ford Ambulance, a 2013 Volkswagen Jetta, a 2020 Subaru Legacy, a 2021 Honda Passport, and a 2021 Lincoln Aviator. So all of these cars, um, you could change the trims on them. <laughs> yeah, that's why it says starting at and only the aviator requires the luxury pass or any pass on um, the rest don't so first car we're gonna spawn is the 1998 ford f-150 right here so i got the extended cab trim so this thing costs anywhere from 2500 to 5000 so i got the 5000 one so it's really affordable and it's kind of, it's not really the best vehicle either it does fit a capacity of four people let's enter it so the lights look terrible on this thing, honestly. Uh, not be whatever, but um, yeah, they didn't really do the best job, but it's understandable because this is a really affordable vehicle. <laughs> uh, let's just get the speed of this, and then here's the horn. So, it does have really slow acceleration, um, <laughs> uh, and the top speed is not really the best either. It goes 105 miles per hour at the top speed, and the braking is pretty good, actually. Not, I mean, not the best, but pretty good. <laughs> Um, anyway, so if you want to sell this car, if you get the highest trim, 5,000, you could sell it for 4,300. So yeah, you lose about um, $650, but you could make that easily. So next car we're gonna spawn is the 2013 Volkswagen Jetta right here. So this thing comes in anywhere from $8,000 to $17,500. So I got it in the highest trim. Anyways, this is a pretty good looking compact sedan. Um, I like this thing. So, the capacity is five people. Let's enter it. So, forgot to mention this um, 17,500 one I have is the GT trim. They did a pretty good job on the lights. Yeah, the front ones are cool. Here's the horn. Let's just get the speed of this. So, it does have way better acceleration than the um, Ford F-150, that's for sure. Um, it accelerates really fast, actually. So. It's definitely gonna have a pretty high top speed for a affordable car like this, 144, wow. <laughs> um, the braking is not the best on this thing, but it's pretty good otherwise. So if you wanna sell this 17,500 um, car, you get 15,000 back. So you lose about two grand, I would say. All right, so next car we're gonna spawn is the 2020 Subaru Legacy right here. It's about the same size as the Volkswagen uh, Jetta. So, I like this thing, actually. I kind of like Subarus, actually. I like. I used to not really like them, but I actually kind of like them now. And this thing's pretty good looking. It does fit five people for the capacity. Let's just enter it. And they did kind of a mistake with the startup chime. The startup chime is actually a Mercedes startup chime. So, um, I think Hunter will need to fix that. Um, Subaru stole the Mercedes chime. Um, anyways, they did, they did an awesome job on the lights. Wow, I'll give this car credit because of the lights. And... It looks pretty cool. So, and also just get the speed of this. There's the horn. And this thing costs anywhere from 22745 to 36895 So, pretty much 37000 at the highest. So, the acceleration is not as good as the Volkswagen Jetta. But it has a top speed of 111 miles per hour. The braking is really good on this thing. Actually, better than the Jetta, I think. Um, uh, uh, so, anyways... If you want to sell this 37 grand car, if you get it on the highest trim, you could, you get 32 grand back. So you lose around five grand. All right, next car we're going to spawn is the 2021 Honda Passport right here. So let's spawn this. This thing costs anywhere from 32,590 to 
44,552. I'll just count it as 44,000. So, so anyways, this thing looks pretty cool, actually. Um, yeah, it looks like a Ford Explorer from the back. It fits seven people, and yes, it does fit a third row. So the chime is a little hard hard to hear because it's pretty quiet, but they did an awesome job on the lights, just like the Subaru. Um, yeah, this thing's actually pretty cool. Um, so there's the horn. Let's just get the speed of this. So the acceleration is actually pretty good for the size of this car. Um, yeah, it's a really, it's a pretty big car actually. But um, anyways, um, yeah, it kind of has gentle acceleration when it. Um, when, before it gets top speed. It has a top speed of 132 miles per hour and the braking isn't isn't the best. So if you want to sell this Honda Passport you get around 38 or 39 grand back. So you lose around six grand almost a little bit less than that. So next car we're gonna spawn is the 2013 Ford Ambulance that they added. This does not require any pass, not the, not the patrol pass or anything, but Anyways, this thing fits two people in the cab, and I counted the seats, and this does fit a to total of five people, so it's, so it fits around like three in the back. So anyways, let's enter it. It does have a four to start up chime. There's the lights and turn signals. And it does have sirens. So the acceleration of this is actually pretty good. It may not seem like it, but yeah, the speedometer is going up pretty quickly. It has a top speed of about 112 miles per hour. Yeah, the braking is the worst out of all these cars, honestly. Uh, Alright, so I forgot to mention this thing comes in two trims, but both the trims both cost 35 grand exactly. So this is exactly a 35 grand car. So if you want to sell this thing, you get 30 grand, um, 30 and a half grand back. So I would say you lose about... Um, 4500 all right last but not least definitely definitely my favorite out of the six the 2021 lincoln aviator right here so let's spawn this thing so this thing requires the luxury pass um so this thing costs anywhere from 52,840 to 82,185 or um to narrow it down i'll just say 82,000 so anyways i love this thing uh yeah this is probably one of my favorite um medium large suv is what you call it not quite a full-size suv but uh, i don't really want to call it a mid-size suv because it's bigger than that it's bigger than like a toyota rav4 so i did count the seats and this thing fits six people let's just enter it i love that chime and the lights are amazing yes um this is probably the best lights i've seen in this game out of any car actually like um, when it comes to the back ones the front ones don't quite look as good as like some of the other cars but they're really cool um yeah this thing is awesome actually um i'm also surprised that it has um quad exhaust you don't you don't see many suvs of this size that has quad exhaust anyways the acceleration is really good on this thing it's way better than the honda passport and that's about the same size as this um yeah it has really fast acceleration actually um and it's it goes pretty fast on top speed too it has a top speed of 139 miles per hour, and the braking isn't really the best on this thing, but it's, uh, I've seen worse. Probably the ambulance has the worst braking out of these six cars. So if you want to sell this $82,000 Lincoln Aviator, you get about 71,000, 71 and a half thousand back. So I would say you lose around like 10 or 11 grand or so. So guys, now that I reviewed all the cars that they added to the revamp, I'm gonna talk about some other changes. So probably the biggest of, of all the minor changes that they did, well, this is not really a minor change, but um, a lot of people have been requesting this for a long time. Now they added cruise control in this update. So you see this um, like speedometer logo right here? Well, that's the new cruise control um uh, yeah i kind of noticed some is kind of off or different around here so if you want your car to stay at 60 miles per hour but you're too lazy to like adjust like the arrow keys and stuff like how fast you're going you could just set this cruise control and it'll shine green and you um, and your car just stays at 68 miles per hour and you could yeah like change the speed like 80 it, it, it counts up or down by numbers so you could have it 85 90 95 or whatever but this car doesn't really have a, a very fast top speed and kind of another minor change about a lot you guys would be be excited about 
Um, when you go to your players here, it used to just show the username, that's it, but it also shows your avatar now, and it will also say what job you have, like if you're un unemployed or you're like a criminal or work at the ice cream shop or whatever, it will, it will say that under the username. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Yeah, I'll probably get back into Jailbreak too. I need to do more of those videos too, but um, Anyways, um, Greenville is going to start updating weekly now, apparently, so I'll do video a lot more videos on Greenville, too. I still got to do revamp videos. <laughs> I haven't reviewed much cars yet, but um, anyways, I'll see you guys later.